today I am at a pallet auction. So basically they just auction off random pallets of merchandise. This entire warehouse is used to store the pallets, as you can see behind me. And then when people who own the stuff don't pay their bill, the pallets get foreclosed and they get sold at the auction. I bought three pallets and we got all these baseball cards. This is mine, yeah. Okay. This is the main one I got. Whatever we got. I paid all, almost three, almost 400 though for this. 400 this one? Yeah. What do you think it is though? <laughs> I don't know I did. Honestly, it feels like bags of sand. Yeah, it's heavy, right? Maybe it's more baseball cards. But yes. Maybe yeah. Cards. Yeah. Cards. That could be good. That's a good sign, right? Oh, a dollar. Wow. I actually found money in a book. I'm rich now. Garbage pail kids from 1986. Yeah, I think that's a f that's a claim right there. What? No, look at this. There's stacks of these things. So I did legitimately get all of these cards. Okay, what's up everybody? Good morning. Welcome to another video. So I'm back again, back at the pallet auction. Lot number 150, right Camilla? Lot yes, number 150. 150. $10, $10. See, we should have broke this up. We could have had 10 lots here. $25, $50, $75, $100. I got 75 over there, a bit of 100, a bit of 100, a bit of 100. 100. 100, 125, 125, 150, 175. 200, 225, 200 for 225, 225, 250, 275, 300. All right, so I bought all of this stuff, all of these pallets. So hopefully I can fit it all. So it's basically nine pallets, I think. Fridge, this pallet, this pallet, this pallet, this pallet, this pallet, this pallet. This pallet. Insane. This is really cool. Really, really nice. The iphone -y. Look at that, little iPhone. What do we got inside? Do we have a computer? Do we have a MacBook? Do we? No way! No, we do! We do, a MacBook uh, Air, it looks like. Money. The one unit I bought was someone from the United Nations. The other unit I bought was a football player. This is getting more interesting by the second. And then we find the drugs. Dun, dun, dun. I have to see what that is. Ew, what is that? Oh, is that a butt plug? Really, really cold morning. Woo! And I just took the uh, hour, it's like an hour and 40 minute drive. It's about two hours in bad traffic and we are here. So the auction happens in this massive warehouse that's like i've said it before bigger than my whole town that i live in uh but here we go we got the essentials when you show up to the auction obviously you need your truck you need your trailer but all you really need other than that is a stack of cash and a knife and you are good to go so i'm gonna have a different plan for the auction today a slightly different plan like last time i was just like buy it buy 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 i bought a whole bunch of stuff it ended up being like I would say 50 to 70% trash. Which is not good, That's nobody wants that. Um, the video did well, so it is what it is. It was worth it. But today I'm going to be honing in on specific pallets and I'm gonna be willing to pay more for those pallets because I wanna leave with like two pallets of good stuff instead of like 10 pallets of trash. 
or partially good stuff and trash. Uh, I'm also not here to just spend like 20 bucks. So I have about like well over a thousand dollars with me and let's just see what happens. Uh, the preview is going to start any minute and we should be able to look at everything and then we'll go from there. But join me. What's up, dude? How, you doing? How are you? I love you guys. You and Sam are the greatest and I love What's your, your baby, name? Ed. Ed. Yeah, I, I watch you all the time. Are you about to buy a bunch of stuff yeah, here? We come here. Let's and do I missed it. you the last time. I missed yeah. it. I seen you on it. I said, I wonder if he'll show. You, you guys are great. It people. wasn't uh, that great last I time. Know, I'm I not going to lie. I what is this? All right, we're getting into the. Yeah, for sure, dude. What is this? This is a crazy pallet here. Party game for sticky situations. I don't know about that. All right, so here we go. This is the auction preview. So basically they lay out all the pallets right back here and they just give you like a half hour to look and see which ones you want to bid on. That looks so bad. Dave, what's up, dude? You want to sign in? Yeah. Look at this. Huge stack of baseball cards. Probably worthless. So it's like this pile, which is two, four, six, I think eight pallets over there. And then everything that's on this side as well. I won't buy this just for the hat. Oh no, he's got multiple hats. This doesn't look that terrible. What is this? Oh, I already looked in there. Alright, so what we have here is a classic example of something that you don't want to buy. I mean, I'm not saying my furniture doesn't have cat hair on it, but you can see cat or dog hair. And this is just a burden to move around. This lot right here, though, might be pretty good, actually. Face stuff. Looks like a bunch of silk shirts. Gnarly. Okay, from experience, this is not gonna be an easy auction. There's a lot of people here and people I've never seen. So that might mean that people think there's a different perception of what's actually in these pallets because I had that idea when I first started doing this. And then once you start realizing it's a lot of trash. So we'll see how this goes. Packed house. All right, here we go. Alright guys, my name is Dave Hester, auctioneer. We are conducting an auction here 
for pleasure of the historic and the warehouses in the we are, are authorized by Clutter to conduct these sales. You must turn that grow, grow off. I'm sorry, but... Look, this guy, he showed up. <laughs> You're late. Yeah, I'm very late. Uh, is there traffic? No traffic on the, on the... I'm sorry, but it's not that great. It's not that great. You can that's see okay. that. That's okay. The best thing is to come, you know? All right, I bought three pallets. I was encouraged not to film here, uh, but we're here now, and we got all these baseball cards. This is mine, yeah. Okay. This is the main one I got. Whatever we got. I paid all, almost three, almost four hundred though for this. Four hundred, this one. Yeah, but we'll see, right? You see what's going on? <laughs> Only maybe because the the cards though might be good. It's sad though, cause like this baby photos. Okay. That's sad. Cause they lose everything. Okay. But that means that there could be like jewelry and stuff in here too. Okay. Cause yeah. if they put in their baby photos in there, then they'll put anything in anything there. Anything on the Yeah. Which is a really twisted way to look at it, but. So I told myself I would get a palette that I actually thought was good. Yeah, that's like a TV maybe. Yeah, maybe. Or a table. And this table is with it too. It goes on yeah. top of here. This, this, this just do? Yeah, it goes on here. Okay. Okay. How was the traffic? This is a table. How was the traffic? Uh, too heavy. Too heavy? Too heavy. How heavy? From New York, so I spent too long. This is on the table here. This is a table. Yeah, th no, these go under here. Under here, okay. Oh, oh, both. For the okay. chair, yeah. Both, okay. There's something a bit heavy. Something heavy. Probably, probably worthless. <laughs> probably, right? <laughs> <laughs> but maybe this? Yes. And whatever that is. Maybe here, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. We will see. Yeah. Do you ever see, it's called Toy Story? Toy Story, yes. The movie? The, no, I didn't see the movie. Andy. And okay. That's his stuff from okay. Toy Story. Okay. <laughs> you think this is good stuff? Probably, yes. You said yes? Probably. Look at this. Oh, oh what? Shit, totally. Look at this. I never know. The man. cereal boxes or something. Uh, it's just games, right? Yeah, yeah. You never know, though. Never know. We're going down. Look, yeah. <laughs> cats. cats. Think we're we we're rich now. Yeah, maybe. Probably. Maybe we can retire you from this. Could <laughs> be something inside, you know? With the room. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> All right, here we go. So I got three pallets this time. I played a little bit of a different game and I, I went for a pallet that I thought was going to be good, which is this pallet, but we'll see if it was worth it. This one has a lot of baseball cards in it, but uh, other than that, I don't really know if there's anything of value. This speaker right here might be the, the baby though. Big ass amp. So hopefully that can pay for some of it. All right, just bought all of this stuff yeah. from the pallet auction. Three pallets. And look what I got. I got Andy's toys from Toy Story. No way. Is it true? Let's see what he put in the attic. Oh, pure gold, boys. Pure freaking gold, dude. Draft pick. And I think we struck gold. What do you think? Still good. Everything look good. Good. I was up here. I would miss it if I didn't come. You would have missed it, I all would. the fun. Yeah, 
Yeah, he's fun. I love it. <laughs> and I will be back again. Everyone will be back. Look at this. Oh, the good stuff's in the bottom. Look. Rodriguez. Actually, good. Perfect. All right, we got it all. It's loaded up. Me and my friend Ed actually showed up. He lives in the same town as me. I knew him since like five, six years ago. He used to buy a lot of stuff from me at the flea market because him and his brother, they ship uh, containers to different places in the world. So maybe next time they'll come and buy some stuff. It's just nice to have somebody here with me that I actually know. It, it feels good to have a companion. And obviously that was Sammy for a long time, but whew, it's freezing cold out. But yeah, we are out. And then I can go through this stuff back at the house and see what we actually got on the road. Second exit. So the way there I took was like highways, right? Because I missed the exit. But the way back is gonna be the scenic route, thankfully. But a little wrap up about the auction. Uh, so their last time I went, which was a few weeks ago, is the first time that the new company took over and that is Dave Hester and Camilla. Camilla. And they're super cool, but I guess somebody from the company, not them, the actual company that owns the items, I guess said something about me filming at the auction because this time, as you saw in the video, they were like, cut the GoPro, can't film here, the company's mad about it. They must turn that GoPro off, I'm sorry, but... Which I kind of think it's funny because quite literally, the storage company itself is basically pawning off their trash, literal trash, most of it, onto people that are actually paying money for it, like myself. Uh, hopefully I got some good stuff this time, but I've gotten just straight up trash before, I'm not even gonna lie. For them to then be like, also we're, se we're selling you trash so that we don't have to put it in the dumpster, but also you're not even allowed to film it for your YouTube channel, which is how you're making money to actually come to this auction. So I, I just thought that was funny. I mean, I'm not gonna just be blatantly rude and just like film when he asked me not to, but there's no chance that I would go to that auction and not film at least some preview, some of the auction, and then me loading my stuff. There's just no chance that I would do that. If I was absolutely not allowed to film anything there, I just wouldn't go there anymore. That's my personal take on the whole thing. But I have this box behind me that's actually filled with four shoe boxes of baseball cards. So I'm hoping that the phone call I have with the new auction company goes well today and I'll be able to bring all of these cards into my our very first drip shop auction. Uh, but that's to be determined, but I feel like the stars are aligning and that's probably what's gonna happen. So I'll give you guys more information about that at the end of this video and then how to sign up everything, how to find us. And then hopefully in the next like two weeks, week and a half, two weeks, we'll be able to run our first drip auction. So we'll see how it goes. And that's the plan, but we just gotta see. We don't know for sure. I had to park over here at the bank because the Wawa is loaded with people. I'm just gonna get a little small coffee to keep me going for the day. I'm about maybe 50 minutes back from home. Uh, and it's a nice scenic read on the way back, but it's freezing out. Just so cold. Woo. I got a French vanilla. It's actually really good. Haven't had one of these in probably at least a year, maybe two years. It's like winter has finally hit. I've had this issue though. This is a real serious problem. Hold on. Where the key is not turning in the truck. And honestly, I don't even know why I turned the car off. Look at this. Right, let's get in here first. So I put it in, right? It's a little bit hard to put in. And it doesn't turn. Oh no. Is this gonna be for real?
Why, why, why? Work, but like I need to take this to the freaking mechanic because I cannot have this going on when I'm an hours away from my house. This is brutal. Whoa, it is cold, it is windy, it is freezing. After coming home, going inside for a little in the heat, eating some hot food, we just made a Newman's pizza in the oven. Ooh, coming back out, I'm freezing. I literally have long underwear on, under here as well, and I'm still freezing cold, even with the eye hood on. So, I'm gonna power through this. But the first thing I'm gonna actually do right now is just take a little couple runs on the half pipe. crazy though even though these are nikes it's still hard to ride in them but honestly just doing that quick run warmed up my whole body so let's see what we got i'm gonna just bring out item by item and show it Oh, what? Check this out. Beanstalk, look. Your new iPad. <laughs> There's just an iPad in there? Why? And why is there all this creepy stuff? Oh, what is my that? Gosh. Dude, what is that? Is it for makeup? Is it like makeup? What is it? I don't know. Wow, iPad. That thing's terrible, but if it goes on and works, it actually might be a pretty cool score. <laughs> Who would ever pay to store this? This thing is horrid. Get your magic wand. She got a hold of that. That's a heavy duty wand though. All right, this is the amp. I'm not sure what this is, like what the value of this is. Obviously, I don't know what it even is. But we're gonna get into it right now. This could be nice. This, this could be gnarly, honestly. Super gnarly. We're claiming $650 for this one, but I don't see it on their website. That's the only thing. All right, we got a fatty stack right here. Baseball cards. All right, let's see this box. We already looked at that. All of this is going right in the trash, I'm sorry.
right, what do we got? This was the sh stuff, I'm sorry. This is the biggest joke ever. Oh, a dollar. Wow. I can't even believe it's real. I actually found money in a book. I'm rich now. This box right here is literally so heavy. Oh, I really do want to see what it is. That's a heavy box. That's a crazy box. I'm going to go through this one first though. I didn't get that much stuff this time. But so far, so okay. I wouldn't say good. But, uh, can't, can't complain, you know. I know what I'm getting myself into out here. Ooh. This is a little collector's box there. And we got, what do we got? DVDs, video games, CDs. Oh yeah, Motley Crew. We could put this on right now. Overall, nothing great. We got a snow globe, little snow globe. That's pretty cool. And then, what could this be? Another little Santa snow globe thing. A little kid in the Santa sleigh. That's not bad. This is interesting though. What we got? A little Pocahontas, Pinocchio, and Beauty and the Beast mugs. The boxes are pretty ripped, but uh, the cups could be salvaged, I feel like. Bag of uh, little football heads. And also tiny little mugs as well. So that's pretty cool. These cups all together might be, you know, 20 bucks, 30 bucks. This is gonna be a heavy table top. All right, all right. That wasn't too bad. The table itself might not be that bad. I actually feel like I can sell it. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a TV. So we got that TV, that TV, this dresser, which I don't know what the dresser's condition is, but it looks horrible. But maybe not. I mean, it's solid wood. It's hard for me to comprehend sometimes what I even bought. This is a nice table. This table is lit. Now we have to find someone who's actually going to buy the table. That's the real trick to it all. And again, no hardware. Although I might be able to find some bolts. It's just like such a gnarly. I wonder if these are even in the right places. That's the main thing. Is that the heavy one? So it has something in there, right? Well, what, do you, what do you think it is? <laughs> More it pictures? Blanket. Oh man. <laughs> you could not you would never want this. Blanket and dipshit. No, no, in the in the other Inside. box. This one's obviously trash. Yeah. Dude, look how yeah, bad that is. Bad that is so that bad. Sucks. That's the worst thing I've ever seen. I think this thing is yeah. The worst yeah. one. Yes. Right, look, it's wet from the pillow. Yes. <laughs> that is so fucked yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody would ever want that. <laughs> right? It's too 
cold today. I don't like that cold. I'm okay, but I don't like that cold. You know? <laughs> <laughs> That's why this thing, this one is very hot. What is that, Patagonia? Oh, okay. It's very hot and I'm up to the edge. And with this, I'm good. This one has a heater in it. Oh, yeah? Like it has like a, a heated component. Oh. That's what I was wearing earlier too. Oh. So it just gets so hot. <laughs> the whole time. I'm just fine, yeah. How can you find that thing? They sent it to me from the company. Yeah. That's nice, right? <laughs> now this is intensifying, right? What do you think it is though? <laughs> I don't know no idea. No idea. Like a bean uh it's honestly it feels like bags of sand. No joke. Or like... Hey, got boxes inside. Really? Yeah, it's heavy, right? Maybe it's more baseball cards. Yes. Maybe yeah. Cards, yes. yes. What is this, Ooh. dude? Oh my gosh, it's CDs. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody would ever want this. What is that? Oh. Cards, <laughs> maybe, right? <laughs> this is getting good, actually, guys. Yeah, cards. That could be good. That's a good sign, right? Yep, it's good. Perfect, actually. What is this? Look. Eagles. Meatloaf. Dude, it's books. Uh, maybe not. Sports Illustrated. It could be collectible stuff. That's not bad. That's why it was so heavy. Yes. Because what it, what is in there is Ooh. all cards. All cards. They're probably all worthless, so that's probably why they're in here. That's the problem. These are all cards too? Yeah. The yep. whole thing. Wow. That one is heavy. Maybe it's worth money, maybe not. Maybe. How do you know though? I don't know what I don't know what you do with the cars. I think you got to just like sell them on the auction. <laughs> and then if <laughs> it's valuable, money. maybe somebody will know it's valuable. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's the issue with that. Wow. That's gnarly, right? Yep. That might be the best box though, maybe. Potenti the potentially. Card? Right? Yep. That's where they started taking it apart and then they just stopped. Because it wasn't even worth it. That's crazy. I thought it was broken, but this one, like before when I got the desk, I thought it had stuff inside it. It did not. But today, some of the stuff did have it. Uh, the iPad was in there. What do you think about that one? This one? Yeah. It's pretty good, yeah, right? Pretty good, yeah. It looks like it's a uh, it polished one? metal. Yes, some cleanup. It's probably only worth like $20, though. Yes, it is. If important. that, even. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> if that, bro. <right. laughs> this is so gross, right? That is, don't even touch it, it's trash. What is that though? I feel like there's uh, weed in there or something. It smells something ugly, but it's okay. Let's take this. What is this? That's what they put in there? Stupid. I thought it was like something good actually. Nope, nothing good. This is worse than I even imagined even Nothing. right Nothing. <laughs> this is the worst thing ever <laughs> ever seen literally <laughs> Empty. <laughs> that's it Empty. <laughs> that's it no way this is beyond acceptable to pay the store Look at that though. Maybe it was like their grandma's or something. Because otherwise there would be no reason why you would ever keep this. 
So this in there, the fact that this was in there makes me start to question if these are just eviction units. Because this is horrible. This is the worst thing I've ever seen in storage. So we got the mystery box. This could actually be... This is a tattoo gun, right? Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. I think. And somebody's phone that got smashed. And also, this piece is like... Yeah, this is the tattoo gun. That might be sellable. Like this. Or we could do a tattoo for you. <laughs> Can you believe it? That somebody would do it at their own house like that? Looks pretty new though. What's that, photos? That could be really crazy. Could you imagine what they had in there? Oh, that's the tattoo gun too, this. What is that? Let's see. You think it's just money? I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> no, it's too, too trash. <laughs> that's the tattoo, tattoo stuff, the yeah. Tattoo, yes, this is going, definitely going to sell. That's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad. <laughs> that might be part of it too, probably. Something like here. Yeah, a computer. Look at that. Yes. Dell. That's probably worth like four dollars, <laughs> <laughs> if that even right. If that even right. If it had the charger, right? If only. That's just crazy. That's just a tan, like what? Wild. What is this? The packs. For vaping, for weed though. Yes. Yeah. It's like what the jewel was before the jewel. Are you cold now? No, my hand. Yes. My it's hand. cold, right? Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Probably modeling. For like a uh, t-shirt company or something yeah. like that. Yeah, that's what it is. See? Oh, yeah. Pretty good, though. It's good quality, right? Yes. You could sell that. Sell that shirt. Right? Right? <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Kodak Portra. That might be the guy's company. Pure modeling photos, right? Yep. That's it right there. A lot of this stuff comes from New York though. Yeah. So it makes sense. Let's see. New York, New York. Yep. They love it. They love the modeling stuff. Useless. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> it's not paying the bills. This was the other box that was in there. So, Phillies, Eagles, memorabilia. More more cards right there. PC game. VHS tape. Of course, a copy of the Titanic on VHS. That's like in every thrift store in America right now. Virgin Mobile. And we got... Big Jake on VHS, as well as Red River. 
I'm not saying that this stuff has much value at all, but some Eagles merch, magazines, Phillies, another one, a bunch of different posters. I could sell this. The Eagles and the Phillies are both good teams right now. So, a whole stack of stuff like that. All Philadelphia teams, I feel like. Maybe not all, but from here down. Not even sure, honestly. Looking like there's no mold on the tape. That guy can go right there. Titanic can go right here. And then, oh, we're not going to be able to fit Red River. We're going to have to put it on top. All right. Completing the collection. So that's pretty much it for the video hope you all enjoyed it long day and again again we did not find anything crazy i will say there is a lot of potential in the sports cards actually i'm about to grab the other cards and i'll show you guys all the cards and then we'll come to a full conclusion after that i have one more box to look through so we got andy's box literally so funny not funny but like it's just crazy that they have andy's toy story box there's no woody or buzz lightyear in here though just baseball cards i feel like there's potential right here though i'm not gonna go touching all the cards and getting crazy but i don't know i feel like there's something lurking in here or someone was doing like card breaks on on instagram maybe not really sure i'm not a card collector i should know more about it but I guess you could say I'm sleeping on it. Aaron Rodgers Packers card though. It's looking pretty cool. This is a lot of baseball cards though. No, no questions asked. Or I mean, sports cards. It's all different. Football, basketball, baseball. I don't think there's hockey in here, but maybe. And this is the one I never even looked in. I know there's potential in here, because look at this. I gotta get a glove on real quick, so I can dig deeper. Okay, I have a glove on. This was caught my eye. Garbage Pail Kids from 1986. Yeah, I think that's a f that's a claim right there. No joke, that is. Yes, the OG Garbage Pail Kids. Those I know are gold. How many do we have in here, though? Oh, there's more. Wow, there's a lot, actually. This is gonna have to go be gone through very thoroughly. To get these, these gold, oh man. Too much gold right now. I can't even believe it's real. I gotta put this back on my head. No way. No, there's not real. The garbage pail come up. Never in my life did I expect this to be what was in here. Nor do I even know if it's even actually valuable. That looks pretty crazy. Little Eagles claim. Victor Bailey. Wow. 
Look at these. Bam, bam. Got more excited about the garbage bell kids than I ever would have from the sports cards. I mean, honestly, I feel like the garbage pal kids are worth money, though, are they not? I mean, I'm coming up on way more than I ever expected. What? No, look at this. There's stacks of these things. So I did legit get all of these cards from the storage units. The so I did legitimately get all of these cards out of those pallets. No idea what the value is, but the whole purpose of why I continuously go to this auction is, well, it's obviously entertainment purposes for sure. But also because you never know unless you go and you never know when you're going to actually hit that big score in one of these units. I are, We already have before, previously, but I'm talking about the life-changing score. It's possible, and that's what keeps everyone coming back. Chance of hitting big. That's all I have to say. It's a gamble every time. We always have fun. We're making money here on YouTube, thankfully. Thanks to everyone watching. And we will be back to another pallet auction in the new year. So stay tuned, everyone. Appreciate you all for coming with me today. And yeah, we're going to go cash in on these garbage pal kids and retire in the Caymans. Peace out. Good morning. Here we are once again. Another beautiful day in paradise. So started off the morning very nicely. Had some breakfast with the fam. And now Finn is sleeping. And I'm about to, without waking her, go through some of the stuff, post some of the stuff, and just get an overall comprehensive view of what I actually got. So I was looking at this. And this is a Wi-Fi extender, right? And even on eBay, they sell for like 50 bucks or something. So actually, if I use this in the shed, right? I might be able to extend the Wi-Fi from my house into the shed. And that will give me the ability to do whatever I want online in here. Because actually, the Wi-Fi does not go from the Wi-Fi box to the shed. So... I have thought about and always wanted to run an auction in the shed because I just thought it would be a cool environment, but I've never been able to do it with peace of mind because, well, we did do one out here with the, with the boys, the vintage boys, but I've never done one in here, but maybe with the extender that could actually become a possibility. I also just was going through this box. So this is all old games i remember frogger frogger went on to a lot of different systems too it wasn't just a pc game some different stuff dvds games that takes me here to probably the most the nice this is the best item we got right so i posted this for 300 guitar center has one up for 650 new so if i get 250 for it i think it's worth 350 but if I can get at least 250 for it, I'm good with that. I posted it this morning on Facebook. I have one person who's commenting back and forth to me. And they I, they said, first they said, what'd they say? I'll just bring it up. They said 150. I said, it's too low, I'm sorry. They said 200. I said, at 250, it's a great deal. That's the lowest I can do. They said 225. I said, no. I said, I'll just wait for the 300. I just posted it today, so I can wait. That is what it is. I just want to get this stuff out of here. I'm not going to hold on to it. 200 would be max, I believe. 150 would be 
good and 100 would be okay. So I'm gonna, the only issue that I have is I do not have the bolts, right? So if you put this on top of there, check this out. It's winter now. I really need to take this water out of this boat. That was not intended. But look at that. So it's cold out. Well, it's cold enough for this to freeze, so. I wouldn't say it was thick enough to go ice skating though. Because this auction is like this every time, I've actually hoarded hardware from other items that I never had the other pieces to. So what if these actually fit the table? Then I'd just be stoked. I'd just be like, wow, okay. We got something here. Let's try it. I feel like that would be fine. Maybe I'll use the, maybe I should use the, the longer ones. So we just ate lunch. Finn's still in the process. You'll hear her in the background. She's, what are you doing? Are you done? Or do you want something else? I wanna say, a lot of people ask about the drone that I use or just make comments about the overhead aerial footage that we get. Are you done for our videos? One pro tip that I can give everyone, if you buy a DJI drone, definitely get the Restore insurance package because you will end up breaking your drone if you fly it a lot. Um, I've broken like 10 drones in my life, but I'm not scared. That's how I get good shots. Just saying, I flew the drone, so I didn't even put it in the video, but I flew the drone into a building in Philadelphia the other day. And it just didn't work right after that. Well, cause it hit the building and fell three stories. So I restored mine, I claimed it under the insurance and all I had to do was send the other drone back and they sent me a completely new drone. So you're not gonna get the drone with the battery, with everything, but they send you back just the body. I'm about to open it. I actually haven't got one of these from the insurance ever. The other ones that I claimed were different models than this. Are you watching, Finn? All right, so we're on it. We get, they give you, yeah, okay, exactly. So they give you the drone, all the propellers, but they don't give you the battery or a card or anything, or the remote control, anything like that. So you're just gonna get this back. But all I did, after I bought the insurance, I paid $39 and I have a brand new drone. So definitely, definitely get the insurance if you buy a DJI drone. I don't know about the other company. This is the only drones I use. Well, let's get this girl some more snacks and get her cleaned up. And then we can start doing something else here. Okay, she just had, she had already scrambled eggs. A bunch of veggies, steamed veggies, and one of these like meat pack things that we get for her. Beef medley with vegetable puree. She loves these, so that's a good piece, but what she really likes most of all is this. Just cheese. <laughs> there you go, baby, yeah. What you gonna do with the cheese, huh? Cheesy McCheeseter. Oh yeah. We can just not eat it. Nah, we gonna eat it. Loves cheese, just like me. All right, we're gonna go outside here for a sec. Finn's not gonna last that long. It's kind of cold out, but she has her play area here. Got all your tings in there. All right, Finn. So I think I found what I needed which should be one of these, hopefully. All right, let's see. Will it go down? 
Oh, yes. Not perfect. Not perfect, but it's good. It's going to hold that on there for sure. All right, we can sell the table with bolts. Good thing I keep I kept those from last time. Here, throw it to me. Throw it to me. All right, you take the camera and then I'll do it. All right. Are you telling them? Exactly. All right, we're here at Finley's playground area in the backyard. Let's do it. Here, Finn, film this. Film me. Yeah, turn it around like this. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna bounce the ball. All right, here, you take the ball. Perfect. Let's try this. Oh, not a good shot today. Look. Oh, yeah. I think I got a lot of rings. If this was for the pony at the... If this was for the stuffed pony at the carnival, we would not be in good shape right now. Okay, okay. What's up, everybody? Hope you enjoyed the auction video. Uh, I would say this time... I didn't get as bad of stuff, but I was a little bit sad that I wasn't allowed to film the actual auction. It does deter me from wanting to go back badly. Like last time when I filmed some of the auction, I ended up with a lot of good footage. The video did really well, and that's one of the reasons I decided to return again. Um, but I wouldn't say that the stuff was so good that it would make me want to go there every time. Uh, with the video and this stuff combined, it's a win-win, but uh, I'm not liking the new no filming rule. Either way, I want to say I'm happy to announce that we are partnering with Drip Shop Live. It's almost exactly like the last auction site that we were using. I wouldn't say exactly like because this time we're going to do a couple things differently. But the basic formula for how you sign up and you're going to receive that $15 to spend just like the other site. And all you have to do to join and please join through our link which will be the first link in this description and also it'll be in a pinned comment below. If you can't find the link just ask me and hopefully I'll see the comment and I'll, I can comment back. But this is it right here. I'm wearing it on my shirt. Join.dripshop.live slash tuckxsammy. Drip. Dripshop.live. So we are going to be running our very first auction on there. It's going to feel a lot more. Already it feels a lot more like a partnership, which is a good thing. You want to feel included when you're running an auction. And this auction is going to include, bam, records. There's a lot of really cool ones on here. Obviously, Bruce Springsteen is a Jersey legend, but we got like Superman and Indiana Jones, original motion picture soundtracks. And I bought all of these from a guy who said this was his personal collection. He claimed one owner, Star Wars, Moonraker. He claimed one owner, so he said these are in great condition. I don't know. I didn't look at all of them. That's all going to be in the auction. A lot of these cards will be in the auction. The Drip Shop does do a lot of Pokemon cards and sports cards, but our auction is going to be a little bit different, obviously, as you all know. More records, tons of cards. I don't know how I'm going to break these up into lots. If you sign on through our link, sign up for the site, Drip, you will be able to, well, hopefully I'll have the live stream posted by tomorrow so that you'll be able to go to the stream and start seeing the items as they post. So the auction won't be actually until the 16th. So that's a Saturday, the 16th of December, 3 p.m. And we're going to be running about 30 minutes of vlogging, about an hour, hour and a half of the auction, and then maybe like a turn down at the end for like 20 minutes and then a turn right back up because we are going to be giving away a PlayStation 5 at the end of the auction. This is another big reason why we've partnered with Drip. They are actually providing incentive for us to do giveaways and we're gonna be giving away a PS5 on the stream. Somebody watching the stream, well, somebody who has signed up to the auction and is bidding on the auction will walk away with a PS5. That's a guarantee. Somebody is gonna win it. I wanna say this is gonna be a lot different than the last time. So when we 
post to the auction site, we're actually gonna simulcast also to YouTube. So it'll be a YouTube live with an auction included, but you will have to bid on the drip site to actually win the items. So you can watch the video from YouTube and watch everything that's going on if you don't care about bidding. But if you wanna bid and you wanna be involved in the auction, you can easily come over to drip while we're streaming, sign up, and start bidding and winning stuff. So this is gonna be a new technique that we've never done before. I'm excited about this. I know Sammy's excited about this. You'll basically be able to just hang out with us for like two, three hours as we auction off items. And there will be a bunch of other stuff in the stream as well. And then the big giveaway at the end. We could do a variety of, you know, some vintage video games that I have, VHS tapes, if people are interested in that, I have some good ones. Obviously the vinyl the baseball cards. These games are actually, I'll probably bundle up some of these. These are PC games. And I'll just keep adding stuff to the auction and I'll do another update before, but I just wanted to put that out there. Please follow the link below, right in the description. Join Drip and we will see you on the 16th live in person. It's gonna, it's gonna go down. There's a lot of reasons why I'm more excited about this. The company's smaller. It's a smaller website than the last site and they're gonna cater to our stream more than the other site ever would. There was like too many, almost too much going on for anyone to actually really be important, I feel like. Uh, there was just so many live streams going at one time. Whereas on Drip, we will be the only stream that whole day doing exactly what we're going to be doing, selling the stuff that we're going to be selling. So it's kind of more exclusive in that way. Sounds weird, sounds stupid, but when a site like this makes you feel special, it's just, it's a better feeling than just being one of the million other creators or auction people on there. And another thing is the Drip platform is actually run mostly off of the desktop, the PC or a computer. So it'll be streamable, I hope, horizontal instead of vertical. Whereas the other auction, we were running it like on a phone. So it wouldn't be nice to stream onto YouTube because it would be basically the wrong format. But for this, hopefully we can set up the right streamable cameras so that this will be like a full blown YouTube live, but an auction as well if that makes sense. Like if you put it up on your TV, it'll take up the whole TV and you'll be able to watch what we're doing. It won't just be one line, you know, one line down the middle, it'll be the whole screen. So really excited about that aspect of it. And the last site, the last auction we did, we had the live stunt, right? They weren't very excited about that. They thought that was like not for their site. So that turned me off a lot. I like doing live videos, but I also like to do live videos that are exciting. It's not all about, to me, the live stream is not all about selling the stuff. We want to create an air of enthusiasm and entertainment within the auction that brings people to drip for reasons other than just to buy. Hope that was clear enough. I'll see you all at the auction. Peace out. Have a good night, everyone. And happy holidays. It's going to be a good month. Oh my gosh. Just real quick before I end this off. Somebody had mentioned this before and they warned us about it, right? So we have this massive crystal ball. But look at this. Because the sun was coming in. It was hitting the ball and it was creating a magnifying effect. And pinning the light into the wall creating little burn marks. Imagine if this caught the whole shed on fire just because I had this in here. I guess it has to be like cloaked with something. That is so bad though. I'm sto I'm happy I just saw that though. That's crazy. All right, take a gander in the wall and tell me what that is. That's from the crystal, isn't it? Yeah. How did it that almost burn down the whole shed? When was this? Whenever the sun was hitting it perfectly like that. Before I put that on it, maybe. Because that has a cover on the window now. Or from this window or somewhere, the sun was hitting it directly from here. Or maybe that window. 
and then it was hitting the wall with a pin and just starting a fire basically i put it in the uh in that blanket right there where on the oh, couch that. yeah the black one isn't that crazy she knew though she was like crystal because i saw that it was missing from here and i don't know when i came in here but i remember the crystal was on this shelf wait so you saw it when it was burning no i just saw it today that's the first time it i ever didn't saw it light up it didn't actually cause a fire but it could have obviously but that's the closest to burning down of anything I ever owned. This is giving me severe anxiety. That we were just sleeping at night with that no, going on? you have a lot of glass <laughs> objects. <laughs> Not like that one, though. Hi, Lucifer. That thing's the craziest thing. Wow, well, that's really, really, really good. 